cauliflower and leek soup. Cauliflower is a naturally comforting food, so highlighted in a soup with a nice onion flavor from the leeks is most excellent for anyone when it's just not their day. This soup makes about four to six bowls, depending on the size of your bowls. You will need two leeks, one celery stalk, one carrot, half an onion, two garlic cloves, one full head of cauliflower, a tablespoon or so of butter, two chicken broth cubes or four cups of chicken stock, and spoon, because making soup just isn't the same without a wooden spoon. Pepper, salt, basil, rosemary, parsley, chili flakes, bay leaves, and also thyme if you have it. I just apparently didn't have any left. All right, how to make this wonderful soup. Start by chopping the garlic, onion, celery, and carrot and throwing it in the large pot. The way you chop these doesn't matter. They're going to be pureed later on anyway. Prep the cauliflower and leeks. Get a large bowl with cold water in it. If you happen to have a lemon on hand, squeeze some juice into the water and stir it. No lemon, no worries. Just water will do. Peel the tough green leaves off the bottom of the cauliflower and cut off the florets around the stem. Toss them in that bowl of cold water and stir it up a bit. Drain them and then throw most of the florets into the pot, reserving some of them for later. Now we take care of the leeks. If you don't know what a leek is, it's essentially a huge green onion. Green onions are also called scallions. Slice off the bottoms where the roots are and most of the tough dark green tops. Place the entire leek lengthwise down the middle so it's easier to clean. Leeks have a lot of dirt in between the layers, so be sure to fan them out a bit when you're running them under the cold water. And then once you clean them, chop them into pieces and throw them in the pot. Stir the whole thing up and then add the butter, seasonings, and chicken cubes. Carry the pot over the stove and put it on high-ish heat, like a 9 on a dial where 10 is max heat. Add water until it just covers everything. Add the bay leaves and stir that shit again. Bring it all up to a boil, then turn the heat down to low. Let it simmer gently, covered, for about an hour to really infuse the flavors. After the time's passed, remove the bay leaves and get out your immersion blender. Immersion blenders or hand blenders are so fucking great. They're inexpensive and they're easy to use, wash, and store. I highly recommend buying one of these guys. I picked this baby up for 12 bucks over a year ago. Beats the bullshit of a counter blender for sure. Plug it in and puree the soup until there aren't any more chunks left. You want it smooth. Add the rest of the cauliflower florets. Season it with a little more salt and pepper, parsley or chili flakes, whatever you like. Then put it back on the stove at medium to high heat. If you're making this ahead of time for something, don't add the rest of the florets or follow the next step until just before serving. If added too far in advance, it'll leave a stale like veg taste and have a nasty mushy texture that's just fucking bad. Bring it all up to a boil one last time, then turn it down just a little and let the florets cook for about 10 to 15 minutes. And that's it. Ladle yourself a bowl of that and enjoy. Feels great, tastes great, your stomach and your soul will thank you.